Yo, what's up, YouTube? Spike Man Dan coming out with the master plan as always. So, I'm about to show you guys a few uh, pictures and video slides of the next up and coming projects, and we discuss the upgrades to the Coleman CT100U and the upgrades to the Predator 212 that I got coming soon. Stick around. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Spike Man Dan coming at you live. All right, so what we got here is the uh, Coleman CT100U. As you can see, I've already got the uh, aftermarket air filter on there. I'm still waiting to port the jet out. And we got the uh, aftermarket header pipe on there, looking great. Clearing up a lot of space in there. And again, that is the stock three horse to the Coleman CT100U, which if you add this stuff, it makes it a sport. And then we also have the Predator 212, which I have ordered from Go Power Sports. Which, by the way, thank you, Go Power Sports. And this is the non Hemi engine. They gave me a much cleaner looking head than the older version, which normally has like some kind of bolt here in the middle, but they've changed that out to four bolts in the uh, outer corners. Just to show everybody, it is the 212, and I've also ordered from Hot Rod Mini Bikes a new Makuni style carburetor, just like the VM12 or whatever. And yeah, it's like I said, I promised to my viewers, this engine will not be mounted on that chassis until everything is done. I mean, from the header to the valve springs, the billet aluminum rod, the billet aluminum flywheel. All of these things are actually required by Hot Rod Mini Bikes to run their style carburetor. And the same goes with the uh, Makuni V12, or VM. My bad. I meant to say the Makuni VM. But yeah, it's for both the Hemi and non-Hemi engines, and as Redbeard shows you in his video on the breakdown of the engine, it's only required to grind down the actual camshaft of the piston itself if it's a Hemi. And for some odd reason, I almost feel like it's mandatory for any engine you do that, especially if it's a Predator 212. I mean, Hemi or non-Hemi, I don't know if Redbeard has experience in this, but I'm pretty sure I could probably get a message back from him saying, yeah, you'll probably be safe, but it'd be better off grinding anyways, you know? So, yeah, back on to the uh, CT100U. That engine, as soon as that engine is done, 
and fully upgraded and hot rotted out, it will be sitting in this frame. But until then, I'm going to see what little freaking things I can do to get the most out of this little three horse. I've already got the uh, pipe and the exhaust done. And now let's just see what other upgrades can come along the way for this little badass. You know, like, let's see. I'm going to make it all she can be. Spike Man Dan, come in with the master plan to make everything hot rotted. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos, folks, because, like I said, I just want to bring you guys nothing but the best on a low-budget cost. And, as you can see, yeah, I'm obviously doing pretty darn well. I got both of these things upgraded at the same time. And that one's going to just be my little project engine. And this one's going to be my experiment daily driver. Well, days that I'm off work anyways because I work two jobs here on YouTube and at another place I work. So with that being said, yeah, wow. I work my butt off. Oh, that pipe is sexy. And this one's a little loud, son of a bitch. Oh, I forgot to mention to all my subscribers and anyone watching this, I also got the, uh, what do you want to call it? The muffler or the silencer coming for the end piece of this uh, header pipe right here because the first time I started this thing up it was so fucking loud I'm not even gonna lie to you guys on that but like yeah these little header pipes they're fucking incredibly loud especially when you get on the throttle and start jamming down the street these are fucking loud you almost have to have a silencer just because it is that incredibly loud. Like especially if you're not like, you want performance, but you don't want to be that damn loud. But like, yeah, it's highly suggested you get a freaking muffler on these things because they are incredibly loud. Even for a little three horse, I can't even begin to imagine what this damn thing is going to sound like. Especially after all the upgrades are done and I get all that high performance shit in it. Oh, buddy, you better believe that thing gonna be fucking louder than loud than that of a stock three horse. And yet I got these performance upgrades on it. You know? So that's uh, food for thought, something to consider. And again, if you like these videos, don't forget to hit that like button. Because I'm always trying to do what I can to get you guys to try to focus on all of the stuff that is going on in Spike Man's house for the projects of these little miniature creations. You know, these things are fun, they're affordable. That's exactly why I do it. I mean, I wouldn't be, uh, I obviously wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't affordable you know especially on a low budget cost <laughs> these things are awesome so with that being said yeah spike man dan come in with the master plan and i'm out again don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and share these videos with all your friends who are into the mini bike thing and as always thank you guys for watching